Yo, what it is, people? It's the Bull Sean P. I'm over here with another guest today. IV TV. I got my man NFU. Yup, free Bobby gang, yeah. Rock Nation gang. All right. You know how we're doing it. Intervision TV, we here. I'm blessed. All right, we're going to put it down for a second, but before we go any deeper, give the people a rundown who you are, you know what I'm saying? Oh, uh, you know, Where you come from? Um, yeah, you know, I go by Keefin. Um, I'm, a f I'm actually in a few, so just to explain to you what that is, that's newly found underground. And um, just to give you a little background on where I come from, I'm from Dade County, Miami-Dade County. I was born and raised in Miami-Dade County. Um, and also to give you a background on a little bit of my team, uh, I'm with Bobby Schmerda. My manager is Debo, which is Bobby's uncle. I'm also with Rock Nation. They are doing management for me. Uh -huh. Shout out to my A&Rs and my executives, publishers, journalists, everybody. Um, and I also started as a dancer, just to give you guys a little background of how I started music. And I'm now a musician, artist, producer, songwriter, um, dancer. I do many things. All right, that's what's up, that's what's up. Well, you say, you know, you started as a dancer. I mean, like, how, how long you been, like, working on your art as a, as a, uh, a rapper? Yeah, um, I would say about three and a half years professionally. All right. I would say three and a half years professionally, I was working at my artistry. Mm -hmm. um, you know, like I said before, I was a dancer. Okay. So I probably did about two or three years really hardcore focusing on that. All right. And then three years professionally of just perfecting my artistry, perfecting my craft, All right. um, you know, doing different music, doing better music, right. um, changing up the genres, okay. doing variety, diversifying myself, yeah. finding my sound. Mm -hmm. You know, that was I would say that's about three and a half years professionally. So, so you so you dance first, yes, and then, sir. And then you switch the game. Yeah. What 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 made you switch the game? You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. So, so I ain't dancing right now. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. On the mic. So yeah, cause I mean, I was break dancing, and um, I happened to be in Savannah, Georgia, mm -hmm. for an America's Got Talent audition. All right. Um, I was going pretty far, also, in the event. Pretty blessed for that too. Um, and I had a little small injury. All right. Very small injury, um, but it had took me out of the audition process All right. because for the audition process, you have to be consecutively going day after day after mm -hmm. day after day after day. Okay. And I had already been about a week into it. All right. So imagine I was getting pretty far, man, and they needed me consistently for filming right. basis, um, biography basis, a mm -hmm. lot of different things. So what happened was, man, I got a small injury and then I just transitioned into music. And I'm still a dancer, like I said, right. um, but I just transitioned into the music just because I found a deeper love for right. music that way. Okay, that's what's up. So you was relentless. You ain't let nothing yeah. stop you. I could just switch it over. It's all music. Yeah, bro. It had to be. It had to be music, and not only that, it had to be me going and showing my people, hey, like this is the new music I have. All right. And you know what I'm saying? I want you guys to help me make it greater too. Okay. Cause you know your people are always get, your real people are always gonna make your music that's greater. That's what's up, man. Cause they're gonna tell you how to do it, maybe how you can do it better too. Mm -hmm. You know, and constructive criticism is always good. True. You can't be you know mad when people criticize you because sometimes it's also constructive criticism. And to make you better, it's it all about how you look better. at it. That's yeah, real. So um, what are some of your influences? Oh, so like personally, me man, like I grew up a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot on Little Wayne. All right. So all like. Right. I, and I also had a really uh, a really deep time where I was listening to Drake a lot. Okay. Um, probably when it was like Young Money, Cash Money, Billionaires. All right, all right. And um, the reason why I liked Wayne so much, bro, is because I felt like sometimes he spoke to me in his music. Okay. And just like another artist I'm about to mention, Tupac, uh, which um, right, like you know, uh, he's one of the greatest to me, you know, one of the greatest legends. But you know, Tupac spoke to me a lot in, in my in like his music. Oh, I apologize about that. All right. But um. Tupac spoke to me a lot in his music um, when it comes to my family, okay. when it comes to maybe like, maybe we don't have the same modern day struggles, okay. um, but some of his struggles I yeah. can relate to, right? And um, stuff that's happened to him around him, okay. I can relate to as well. Right. And stuff that's happened to his friends, like his friends passing away, okay. I can relate to too. So I guess I would say, I would say Tupac, mm -hmm. I'll say Lil Wayne. All right. I guess we'll give Drake number three. <laughs> um, Zoe Dollars, because he's really helped me out with my right. career a lot, and a he's a great artist. All right. And the fifth one I have to say is Biggie. And the reason why I okay, say that New York stand is because I like the way uh, Biggie lyrically flowed. All and right. he also gave me a gateway to understand music, meaning like 
when I started hearing Biggie's flows mm -hmm. and the way that he would make songs sound so different mm -hmm. just because of the way he flowed on it, All right. that made me want to sound so different than everybody else. Okay. Because I was like, wait, if Biggie's the only one that can sound exactly like Biggie, Biggie. I yeah. need to be the one that only sounds like NFU. Exactly. And everybody needs to know that that's NFU. Even mm -hmm. with my trademarks, even with some of the, like, the beginning of my intros, I always have the same one. It's just because okay. people know it. It's branded like that. All right. But yeah, man, those are my five greatest influences, okay, I would up. say. But I see, I see you, um, earlier you said that you um, had a small injury when you were doing the mm -hmm. um, dancing or what have you. Mm -hmm. Talk a little bit about some of the struggles that you had up until, you know, getting to where you're at right now. Yeah, bro. I mean, um, you know, obviously I did have the injury and that was you know, one of my struggles that mm -hmm. I really had a hard time with just because I was so dedicated to dancing at that time. All right. And I was so far in the audition that I wanted to keep going. But even though it was a small injury, if I would have continued on that injury, mm -hmm. it would have been a way worse injury and I probably wouldn't be able to do certain things that I'm able to do now. Okay. So I'm thankful that God gave me the process and right. I trust my process to be able to flow into that. Okay. But, you know, another small struggle I had, you know, like my mother, She's she's legally disabled. Okay. So um, she's had a couple back surgeries. All right. And you know she's she's always had a hard time with certain things. So I've been trying to help her become better, okay. and now she's definitely becoming better. All right. Um. But yeah, and also my grandmother, okay. she's going through stage four cancer. All right. So that's another little struggle that I had along with everything. Yeah, you still got it. But I still made it through, okay. and that's why I'm shining brighter because I was able to use the dark and turn it okay. bright, you know? Yeah. I was able to use everything that was put against me okay. and use it for me, Okay. you know? And a lot of people, like, even in my city, mm -hmm. they still tend to, like, hate or, like, have this um, type of resentment towards me okay. because maybe I was able to do certain things that they weren't, mm -hmm. but I don't mean it in that way. I want to bless everybody to do what I can do. Okay. But some people just don't give the chance to hear me out okay. because they're so busy off of word of mouth or off of, you know, okay. just hate. It's hate, man. I mean, it comes with this game a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just how you handle that's it. That's just how it goes. And it's, how it's, it motivates you. To that's how you got to use greater, it. You know? And you know what? We I chopped it up with you, but not even just chopped it up with you since the time that we've been conversing back and forth and connecting with each other, one of your favorite words, you know what I'm about to say is greatness. Yes, sir. Greatness. What that word means. To greatness you, all 2018. Uh, greatness means a lot to me. I mean, like I said, you're only as great as your greatest accomplishment. Um, but what it took me to get to my level of greatness, you know, it was a great amount of time. Okay. And it took a lot of great matters to get there. Right. So that's why I say greatness. And that's why a lot of times when I'm with certain, you know, my colleagues and associates, I'll say greatness right. or greatness 2000, all, like all 2018, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. You know, but that's just my form of talk because yeah. It's my own lingo mm -hmm. that everybody could understand that what I bring to the table is positivity, success, and greatness. You know what? That's real. I believe in the laws of attraction. And if that's what you're attracting is greatness, if that's what you're thinking, that's what's going to come. You yeah, know what man. I'm saying? So that's good that you have that good, positive energy, them good vibes. Yeah, you know bro. what I'm saying? Always try to vibe, vibrate higher. You know what I'm saying? But um, on another note, um, let's talk about some of the projects you got coming up. Oh, Maybe yeah. That you work with. You know, just get oh, yeah. Get, for get sure, for that. sure, for sure. I mean... I did drop an EP on our platform, so y'all could check that out. Um, mm -hmm. It's called Ride the Wave by NFU. Okay. Like I said, over 150 platforms worldwide. Mm -hmm. um, but I do have a project coming up, and it's an album, NFU's first album, Newly Found Underground's first album, mm -hmm. okay? And it's going to be by Rock Nation and by Hard Times. Mm -hmm. So you already know Free Bobby, Free Bobby, and Free Bobby again. Nah. <laughs> you already know. Um, but it's going to be by Hard Times, and it's going to be by Rock Nation. Mm -hmm. And there might be a few other people on it, but we'll keep that as a secret, you know? All right. Um, but uh, definitely those two greatness uh, people will be on it as well. Um, and we're just going to be dropping a whole NFU album. It's going to be the first approach to the world of an NFU album. All right. Meaning we have big productions from 808 Mafia to big features with speaker knockers to, um, you know, even bigger production. Um, I have Mixed by Trip, one of the biggest engineers in Miami, Florida, you know, working with a lot of big names right now. He's put a lot of hard work and effort into making this great. And um, I really thank him along with all the engineers from the road and all the producers. When I go on tour, thank you guys too, yeah, yeah. because it's not only Trippy, you know, it's also everybody else that puts in the hard work together. Um, but we have a lot of big production, a lot of big features. 
like I said, man, um, there's just a lot to look forward to. And just to let you know, I'm going to have three albums ready. All right. So just because I dropped that one album doesn't mean that I'm not going to have another project soon. Okay. But I just want you guys to know that the project to focus on right now is the NFU album, which will be the first album. Okay. That's what's up. That's so I see you tour. I see you doing tours and stuff like that. You know, name some of the cities and some of the people oh, that yeah, you man. work with um, on tours. Oh yeah, Definitely, happen. definitely. I've been to Texas. I've been to Louisiana, Mississippi, mm -hmm. Alabama, Atlanta, New York, North Carolina, South Carolina, Idaho, Detroit. Uh, we've been to Mexico. Uh, we've been to a couple places as well um, in uh, certain cities, meaning like. Panama City, Ybor City, uh, Tallahassee, okay. um, even until we've been into certain cities, meaning Baton Rouge, New Orleans, Hammond, Springfield, yeah, all these are all Louisiana, uh -huh. yeah, everywhere, man. Um, but we've been a lot of places in the United States, man. We got a few more places on the west and a few more places on the east side, but okay. we've been a lot of places on the map, um, and we're going to go international in four months. So we're going to uh, be doing international yeah. dates, man. So that means everybody getting their passports, yes, you dig? Yeah, 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 and then yeah, everybody yeah, yeah. out there, we flying out, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And um, yeah, man, there's just a lot of greatness to come, bro. Telling right. you. That's what's up. Well, check me out. It's, 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 some, it's a young boy out here watching this video, watching this interview. You dig what I'm saying? Yeah. And, but he, he, he's trying to get into the whole industry and bec becoming an artist. Right. But, you know, he, he having a little doubt, you dig me? Yeah. Anything you want to say to that young bull? That, that young yeah, lady? like, I mean, man, if you're having a doubt, just just know this, like, you can always overcome it. And even if you are having a sense of fear or anything like that, don't ever fear your own greatness. You only know as great as you are. Right. So you got to keep pushing. Whatever you do, you're going to be great at it. And whatever you want to do, you're going to be great at it. But just keep pushing, man. Um, don't ever have doubt. Don't ever have fear. And don't let anybody install doubt or fear inside of you because that's not how you should feel. Uh -huh. You're great and you're great how you are. So just do whatever you're great at and I'm here to support you a thousand percent, bro. That's what's up, man. You know, some people let fear, you know, determine how far they go in life. And what you got to understand is you got to become comfortable with fear. Yeah, man. You got to let it be your friend because sometimes people let fear make them live a lesser life. Yeah, man. Because they're too scared to live on the edge, you dig what I'm saying? So, but once you get over that fear, understand that, you know, this is what I want to do. And you know what? If I fail, I fail. I'm going to try it again. I'm just going to switch it up how I do. You know what I'm saying? That's how you get to it. So, that's that's good advice that you're giving to the Yeah, to man. Out All the young dig. bulls, bro. You know what I mean? Because they, they need that, you know. And I'm not going to lie, man. These young bulls. They making money, man. Yeah, yeah, they figuring it out. And you know, they, my shot go, I, my head goes up to all of them. I might not, you know, dig with a lot of stuff that they doing, but they figured it out. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So that's what's and that's up. respect to that. You know what I'm saying? You figured it out. You got your own way. Yeah, sound bro. different. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Brother. I know who your influences are, but I listen to some of your music and it's completely different. You yeah, brother. Where it's out right now. Definitely, man. I just try to diversify myself. Mm -hmm. You know, um, I guess. Every song too, I try to plant a seed. All right. Well, maybe something out of every song, somebody will relate to, mm -hmm. or they're gonna remember. All right. Why? Because maybe they had that experience. Okay. Maybe they say that. Mm -hmm. Maybe that's their thing. Mm -hmm. You know, it could be many different things. But I like to make my music diverse, but mm -hmm. also relatable. Okay. So I might bring my own wave, but it's gonna be a wave that everybody can understand and they can vibe to. All right. And if they really like it, and I know they will, mm -hmm. then they're really going to understand it too. Okay. Because a lot of people say they could hear, like, it was my energy. Yeah. My energy's... Energy don't lie. Yeah, bro. like, so <laughs> my energy's really hyper mm -hmm. and, like, very, um, I would say, like, an approach, like, maybe, like, um, Young Thug mm -hmm, mm -hmm. or something like that. All right. I would say that would be more like an approach, but it's not even, no similarity. We're very different. Okay. You know? But I'm just saying, like, a wave. A very similar wave, I would say, mm -hmm. like Rich the Kid. Everybody says I sound like Rich the Kid. Okay. Or like a mixture of young stuff. All right. But I just say, you know, I'm NFU. And that's what and I sound like. And then everybody starts <laughs> NFU and shit. But all right, that's real. That's real. Well, um, I know you stay busy. You know what yeah. I'm saying? You from here? You from there? I just hollering at you the other day, but you wasn't even over here. Yeah. You over here, you dig what I'm saying? When you do get a chance to actually like fall back and spend a little time, you know what I'm saying? Like, what do you do? You how do you you know, uplift your community, what you do for Yeah, like, I mean, personally, in Miami, Florida, mm -hmm. um, I've done 
a couple events mm -hmm. like uh, for Christmas. Mm -hmm. I went to the homeless shelter Camila's house okay. in Miami, Florida, and um, I went with one of my friends. Okay. In the past, we got like a hundred chicken burgers and a hundred burgers. Okay. And we also got like um, care packages, okay. which quote unquote is um, like toothpaste, you know, for girls like pads, like, oh, like different little hygiene, care packages, yeah, you know, yeah. so you can keep your hygiene, uh -huh. you know. So we took out the care packages. We took out all the burgers. Okay. On our Christmas. Yeah. Our Christmas day. Okay, that's what's up. And we went and we made sure to feed everybody. And I mean, if I remember clearly, I think I took like a hundred bucks in ones, mm -hmm. and we gave out all the ones too. Oh, okay. So like, um. I mean, yeah, you know, um, people might have not have seen it until later or recognize mm -hmm. it until later. But it will last forever. And but it don't, even matter, it don't even matter about yeah. who's seen it. It's all about the people that you was actually presenting this stuff to because that's who's in need. I'm you know just saying, like, because they, mm -hmm. they see it too. Mm -hmm. um, but, like, they really appreciate it. Yeah. You get me? They value it. Uh -huh. Like, sometimes you can give somebody something mm -hmm. that's more valuable than a dollar amount. Okay. You understand? That's real. So maybe it'll be experience, opportunity, mm -hmm. wisdom. It could be anything. But there's a way for you and I to okay. excel together, you understand? All right, okay, okay, that's real. One more time, what was that name of the uh, the, the album that you're pushing right now? Oh, uh, it's gonna be called actually Ride the Wave 2. Ride the Wave 2, okay, yeah. Because the that? EP was called Ride the Wave. That's real. So the album, the first album is gonna be Ride the Wave 2, and then the Ride the Wave 2 single is with 808 Mafia. That's real, that's real. And it was a blessing working with him and Trippy. Mm -hmm. um, we were at Circle House, like I told you, for 12 yeah. hours. Cupcakes, brownies, um, <laughs> Whatever popcorn, you need to do to get it done. Um, water, uh -huh. um, leaves, anything. Uh -huh. And it was amazing, man. I had a great experience, for real. Okay. And um, they made it very comfortable for me, man. All right. And that's the thing, too. Like, I do go to a lot of studios, mm -hmm. especially on the road. But I just go to, work, like, whichever studio makes me comfortable. Yeah. Because sometimes you have an engineer, and he's just trying to show you his stuff or, like, mm -hmm. trying to waste time. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, you're not recording, bro. You're just standing there and you're wasting time. Yeah. You get me? You guys are, he's showing you beats or whatever. Mm -hmm. and he's running the clock. Yeah. So then now you're getting a five hour session, mm -hmm. but you were running the clock like two and a half hours. Two and a half hours, yeah. No, when we go to the studio, we go there for 12 hours and we do 12 to 18 projects in okay. 12 hours. Okay. Because bro, I value that time so much. It's mm -hmm. like my second home. All right. And not only that, most of my brothers and my artists, they're with me there. And we all enjoy it together. We all yeah. make great music together. So it's like, we go to the maximum with okay. it. Okay. That's know? real, that's real. But um, one more time for the people that don't know you, yeah. don't know how to find, tell them how they can find you. I can oh, get yeah, your yeah. music, for all sure, that good for stuff, sure, man. For sure, for um, sure. Y'all can find me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, n.fu. If not, you could go ahead and put official NFU, official NFU on Twitter, official NFU on Instagram. You could find me on SoundCloud. You could find me on YouTube. You could find us on iHeartRadio, Spotify, Amazon, Google Play, um, DistroKid, everywhere. You could find us everywhere, over 150 platforms worldwide. And you just put n.f.u, not newly found underground in Google. It'll bring up a lot of our results. Um, we have a lot of music. We have a lot of material out there. Um, and just to let you follow some of my team too, we got official NFU shooter. That's one of our shooters behind the camera. He's also an artist, upcoming artist. So be careful and watch out for that. Right. Cause I'm telling you guys, this kid is ridiculous. And um, you know, we also got official Gucci. Um, he's part of NFU as well. He's a Spanish artist. Okay. He does uh, Spanish music. All right. Okay. Um, he's doing a lot of great things too in Miami. Okay, that's what's up. Um, but you could also put NFU, okay in your search bar and you'll find all of us on all platforms all social medias we're everywhere um okay. we have a lot of music out a lot of different um features out too um so you could just go ahead and look for that on any platform you want all right you that's know? what's up well y'all already know how to find us yeah intervision tv on ig intervision tv intervision tv on yep. facebook yeah intervision yep. tv i mean intervision entertainment <laughs> if you're trying to get with me sean p you know what I'm saying? And we out here making it happen for everybody that needs somebody to make it happen for them. But with that being said, we out of here. Till next time, IVTV. You already know, Free Bobby, Rock Nation, NFU, Intervision TV. Right. You dig. That's real, my G. You dig. <laughs>